What a mess are you? We've been checking out one of Indy's hottest local talents all night long. We join Amber once again with hip hop artist Rodamez in the 247 Music Lounge. We're very glad to have you on the show. I want to start a little bit about your background. Uh, you're from New York City. Yes. Yep. Some of the greatest MCs of all time hail from New York City. Nas, Jay-Z, Wu-Tang, Wu -Tang, Curtis Blow. So tell us a little bit about your sound and, and your upbringing. They didn't inspire me to want to do music, but um, they definitely put um, an influence in a way of just music, period, on what hip-hop was at that era. What does the band bring to your music? I don't like everything super-duper programmed and organized. So if you have a band, you can switch things up. You know what I mean? You got your guitar, you got your, your bass or whatever, your drums, right. you know. And even if something goes wrong, uh, musically, it can still progress, you know what I mean? As opposed to having a CD or a track. You have to go with the flow of their track. Right. Allows yeah. you to create yeah. on the spot. Yeah. You're a hip hop artist, you're an interpreter, and you're a firefighter. <laughs> yeah. so there's got to be a, a sort of fearlessness that goes with being a firefighter. Do you take that and bring it on stage? Um, no, I keep it all separate. Musically, you know, I might say something about the jobs that I do, lyrically, right. you know what I'm saying? But I try not to cross-mingle it. Whether I like it or not, it's going to cross-mingle. People are going to talk about it. That was a great interview. Thank you. Um, anytime soon, would you consider doing a live album with your band? I like that. I like the live sound. I like the live element. Instruments, to me, are important. But definitely, we talked about that. Okay. Yep. I'd buy it. <laughs> Thank you. When you're not doing music, interpreting, saving cats out of trees and stuff, what, <laughs> what do you do? Like, what's, what's fun for you? Um, I like to meditate, you know what I mean? I like time alone by myself. Um, I spend a lot of time just reflecting on what's next in life. I'm always in, in, in thought of what to do next. You told me in uh, kind of private that you don't really want to do anything unless it's like top-notch production. Do you find that as a barrier as an artist or do you think that kind of helps push you to that next level and make you better? Um, it can be a barrier. I think I've done a lot of the low-end stuff. From now on, I have to put myself higher. You know what I'm saying? If I don't, then I'm going to stay at that level. You know what I mean? Thank you guys for coming out. Have a good night.